Hi, everybody. So we're taking on a couple of projects here we got today. Uh, so two things. One, uh, we're going to actually be working on um, so these circuit breakers, right? So uh, I, I need a circuit breaker panel, right? Uh, and I've been doing a little bit of research. So, you know, some people put their circuit breakers on... You know the panel picture of that some people put their circuit breakers some people don't even have circuit breakers you know these fuses instead of circuit breakers um th i'm going with breakers the reason i'm going with breakers is you know technically your fuses should never burn and your breakers shouldn't pop if you have a well-designed electrical system then you don't have any of these issues right but in real life you know, you need to be able to do testing. You need to be able to do emergency training. And emergency training means being able to turn stuff off to simulate, you know, bad, you know, avionics going down or other other kinds of stuff. Uh, I just feel more comfortable doing that with circuit breakers. It's basically an on and off switch. It, there, it's just a, it's a fuse that can keep being reused a thousand times. So that's why I'm going with circuit breakers. Uh, what you see me doing here, which is damn difficult to see because... Uh, I'm working in the sun and there's so much glare is I'm actually drilling out a circuit breaker board right uh, I wish I had a picture of it a uh, quick picture of one here so that's one that you can buy right all that's just a you know plain board no no you know with, with, with holes I'm not gonna say who or makes it or what it what it costs but I looked at it and I said well, I'm just building one uh, because this is just a mock-up, right? Uh, again, one thing to remember is all these pieces you see me making for the panel, like the three main panel pieces, um, this piece here for the circuit breakers, those will all be recut later, you know, much more precise, right? I'm just doing this with hand tools, you know. Uh, you know, even with a rivet fence, it doesn't matter. If I don't have some machine punching, you know, drilling the holes, I'm, I'm not going to make it straight. But I make it straight enough. Uh, and so I've got basically six rows of five breakers apiece. And you can kind of see, you can see it. It's, you can kind of see it. Like I said, there's a lot of glare. Uh, so there's 30, 30 breakers total. I'm not going to use all those. Guarantee I'm not going to use, well, I shouldn't say that because I'll probably wind up using more. Uh, this is going to be where the two uh, main buses are going to be, right? So there's, there's a master bus which will be you know engine alternator stuff like that and there's going to be an avionics bus uh the avionics bus obviously being all the delicate avionics that could get dangered or that could be in danger by uh some kind of uh you know power system shutdown spike or etc etc so there's gonna be a whole separate bus not to be confused with the backup essentials bus in case i lose the alternator Right, so uh, electricity is electricity is hard. Let's go shopping. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you can see I'm putting on a top row of breakers just to make sure the whole thing lines up. Uh, this th this this thing kind of does need to be cut precisely for the breakers. Uh, the the power bar, the, the way that I'm distributing power is I'm using a copper bus bar, right? Uh, you could have individual lines going to every single breaker. You can't do that. Or you could just evenly distribute the 12 volts across all the breakers using a copper bar. You know, nice big thick copper bar. Uh, that's a popular way to do it. Picture that here, and that's what I'm going to do. So, all I need to make sure is that they're lined up so I can get uh, a test piece on there. Now, the all the actual live wires, So the, right, these are the breakers. So, the, the power comes in from the b battery or alternator, goes down to breakers, across the copper bus, and distributes 12 volts out. Uh, when the breaker is in, it connects, and then that goes to the actual individual wires that are now the positive leads for all the things I'm going to be using, right? Avionics, lights, etc., etc. So you can't really do uh, copper on both sides. Uh, what you see me doing here is I'm actually fiddling around with adding some labels with that sweet label maker I was uh, telling you about. and doing a little bit of shrink wrap. I'm very happy with that, so we'll do a ton of that later. Uh, in the next video, more work on this kind of stuff, so see you soon.